is primary day in five states across the country. Voters in Maine, Nevada, North Dakota, South Carolina, and Virginia are heading to the polls today. In Nevada's third congressional district, Republicans are trying to flip the seat and stop Democrats from taking back the House in November. One Republican candidate thinks she can do that by taking a page out of Donald Trump's playbook. MSNBC's Jacob Soboroff joins me now with a race that is up for grabs in Nevada. Hey, Jacob. Sure is, uh, Katie. This is this is just ping pong basically back and forth over the course uh, of the last 12 years. And this candidate is a local television news reporter who is focusing on style over substance. Sound familiar? Watch this. It is about 103 degrees outside of Las Vegas, which is to be. They've got a farmer's market going on, but they also have an early voting location. And this district, Nevada's third, is one of the only in the country that might swing from blue to red. Nevada's third congressional district is a flip-flopper. It was created in 2003 and represented by a Republican until 2009. Then a Democrat from 2009 to 2011, a Republican from 2011 to 2017, and a Democrat, Jackie Rosen, from 2017 until today. But she decided to run for Senate, so now the seat is up for grabs. Nice Welcome. to meet you. Thank you. No, it's good to be in Vegas. So it's are you? It's good to see someone from MSNBC. That's very nice of you I to say. It almost twenty-four hours a day. Well, when you're not in the mall voting. We exactly. Are you a uh, you Republican or a Democrat? I'm a Democrat. And so, are you in this third congressional district here? Yes, I am. You think it's going to go? The Republicans are targeting it. They're trying to take it away from you guys. Well, lots of luck. Lots of luck. You think they'll, they'll need it? You think they'll be able to do it? No. Susie Lee is considered the leading Democrat in Tuesday's primary. You really are in an important position to hold the line for the Democrats. Do you yes. feel pressure in that sense? I certainly feel the pressure to get support uh, from where I can. What is it about the district that makes it such a flippy district? Why does it keep going back and forth? It's just really, honestly, it comes down to there's a large independent vote in this district, and they really focus on the quality of the candidate. Michelle Mortensen is the underdog in the Republican primary to Trump-backed businessman Danny Tarkanian. But she's counting on her celebrity as a local news reporter. You even like likened yourself to Donald Trump. You said you're the little female Donald Trump. Is that right? Well, no, I didn't come up with that. People have given me that nickname. And you like that? I'm, you know what? I have more Emmys and much better hair. More I'll Emmys and much better way. hair. <laughs> you know what it is, is I'm not a politician, just like he wasn't a politician. I talk like a real person. I tell it like it is. And people respond to that. Absolutely. The thing that I've noticed about this district is it's sort of a flip-flop district. You know, it's been, oh, yeah. it's been, uh, it was Republican for a long time, then it's been Democratic a couple times. Why? Well, it's because we're pretty split evenly between the Republicans and the Democrats, but there's this little pool of independents, and that's who you have to win over. You have to win over the independent voter to win here. And is that these people? The independents are pretty much everywhere, but I do know this. They know me from TV. Who'd you vote for for Congress? Do you remember? <laughs> no. <laughs> are you a Republican or Democrat? Uh, I'm a Republican. I'm a Republican. This is a district right now, yours, that's held by a Democrat, Jackie Rosen, and now she's running for Senate. Do uh -huh. you think the Republicans can win it back? You don't think so? <laughs> no. <laughs> the Democrats will be happy to hear that. So, uh, Katie, Susie Lee, the front-running Democrat who I talked to there in her campaign office, told me that she thinks uh, that Mortensen, the television news reporter, could actually upset uh, Tarkanian, uh, Donald, President Trump's choice, um, which is a sign, I guess, that her uh, this strategy, uh, style over substance, what might be working. What is Michelle Mortensen running on besides her Emmys and her hair? She talks a lot about her ability, uh, and this might sound familiar to you, Katie, to connect with people by talking tough but what are the uh, and calling it like it really is. What does is. she support? This sounds exactly like the questions that you would ask Donald Trump uh, while you were out on the campaign trail. Yeah. When you ask her uh, those types of questions, we were with her, uh, with the folks uh, out right at that uh, very outdoor restaurant. Uh, she keeps going back to, I'll go to conservative policies. Uh, we're going to get the government out of your life. Uh, and uh, and that's, that's something that those voters respond to. Interesting. Jacob Sobra. Jacob, thank you very much. See ya. And Jacob could pay you a visit next if you live in a midterm swing district. Tell him what issue matters most to you using the hashtag UpForGrabsMSNBC.